The Undefined, aka the king of gaming, the king of YouTube, the realest gamer on the internet, the 100% fact spitter, the higher level thinker, the leader of the real gamer movement, the king of anime, the king of manga, and the one who's better than you in every way, has once again returned to deliver the greatness, has once again returned to deliver the facts. Even though you losers on this channel simply do not deserve it. Shout out to all the members of the real gamer movement. Shout out to everyone that believes in this high quality, amazing content that I provide and chooses to financially support me by either becoming members of the YouTube channel or following me on twitch.tv slash the ancient pizza and subscribing or donating over there whatever way you choose to financially support shout out to y'all for financially supporting y'all are the ones that i do this for man the rest of you losers that never financially support me in any way well you simply do not matter to me in the slightest you don't donate you don't matter it's that simple so since i'll be moving to my new youtube channel soon and primarily focusing on anime and manga related content I figured I would end this channel on my top 10 favorite games, which people have been wanting me to do for a long time now, not because they're actually interested in what I like, but more so because they're butthurt I talk bad about their favorite games, so they want to know what I like, so they can, I guess, get some sort of revenge by saying the games I like suck. You know, just a bunch of losers, but the crazy thing is, I usually talk about my favorite games, anime, manga, all that on my live streams, but since most of you losers don't actually support me and watch my live streams, you leave stupid comments like, oh my god! man this guy hates everything man he doesn't like anything so much negativity man imagine actually thinking thinking up top in your brain i hate every game <laughs> oh my gosh imagine imagine oh my god you people are so stupid oh my god imagine thinking i hate every game no just because i don't like the same garbage as you do does not mean i hate every game but when you're an idiot you think not liking what everyone else likes means hating everything that could never be me but yes these are my top 10 favorite games of the last i want to say five years or so i'm not doing all time these are just the games that have released in the past few years or so that i really like really enjoyed and these are games for real gamers games you should definitely play if you haven't already if you happen to disagree with any of the games on this list just know you're an idiot with terrible taste it should not be taken seriously so without further ado let's get into it up first is Yakuza 0. So out of all the Yakuza games I've played, I find 0 to be the best. It had a great story with interesting characters. The gameplay was great, being able to change into these unique styles on the fly for certain situations. Being able to play as both Kiryu and Majima. The music was awesome. This is definitely the one I go back to the most. If you're interested in getting into the series, which you should be, because if you're not, you're a fraud. This is definitely the one you need to start with. I love the Yakuza series. I play them all the time, and it definitely needs more attention. Up next is Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls 3 had absolutely incredible bosses design wise, gameplay wise. Every boss in this game felt epic. It had an absolutely godlike soundtrack. It was like tiny little angels coming down from the heavens above with their harps and musical instruments delivering the greatness every time I was in a boss battle. It was just like, oh, oh, oh. And just the music was great. I like all the new features that they added, and I especially love how they sped up the combat for this game, making it way more fast paced than previous Souls games. Because one thing that's always infuriated me about the Souls games was how slow paced and clunky and sluggish they were. Like, no matter how hard I tried, I just couldn't get the speed that I wanted. But the movement in this game was just fluid, it felt amazing. They learned from other games, and you can tell it's definitely a great experience, man. It made the game way more enjoyable for me. But yes, this game is awesome. If you haven't played this game, then, then why not? What are you, one of those casuals? What are you, one of those frauds? What are you, one of those people that think the game is too hard? Oh, come on, I want to have fun when I play. I don't want to be raging. <laughs> That's pathetic. That could never be me. Play this game. Next game is Dragon Quest XI. I love how Dragon Quest continues to stick to its roots by adding minor things but never completely changing the formula. The developers seem to understand if it ain't broke, don't fix it. This game just feels like one of those classic JRPGs of the past and I was desperately needing that. The story is your typical you're the hero go save the world type of deal but the journey to get there is still amazing and the characters you meet on your journey are all likable and dope. And the gameplay is definitely where this game shines. I mean classic turn based combat with some cool powers thrown in to keep it unique and fresh. I truly wish more modern JRPGs stuck with the turn-based combat, but instead they're mostly just button mashing, hack and slash trash catered towards casuals with ADHD. Oh, turn-based is boring, man. I just want to see combos and flashy moves, man. Come on. It's pathetic. But this game is truly amazing. A vibrant open world with tons of color, tons of monsters to battle. One of the best JRPGs to release in a very long time, no doubt. Next game is Nier Automata. This game is fire. There are so many different aspects to it 
it that make it one of my favorite games from the story to the characters the amazing soundtrack i talked about dark souls 3 having an amazing soundtrack but this game is on a whole other level in the soundtrack department absolute ear porn the absolutely unique combat system one second it's rewarding fast paced hack and slash game next minute it's a shoot 'em up next moment you're hacking something i mean the game is constantly switching up on you and it makes it feel fresh the boss fights are incredible both again design wise and gameplay wise they look cool and the way that they play are also cool there was never no boss in this game that made me just feel like oh my god this is a no oh i take that back actually that hegel boss or whatever was pretty bullshit but other than that the all the boss fights in this game were rewarding they never felt really cheap like that except for like a couple and i just overall had a very amazing time with this game how could you not like it unless you're a moron of course next game is fire emblem three houses fire emblem games are amazing and three houses is no different i love how you're able to choose which route you want to take in this game recruit different characters to join you and see how those relationships you form with the different characters change later in the story it's awesome i beat every route in this game multiple times proving once again how truly great i am and all of them were good the gameplay is incredible having to choose each step carefully and figure out the next best course of action is truly rewarding and if you make one mistake sometimes it's heartbreaking because you got to start all the way over from the beginning and some of these battles can take forever especially late game so you have to choose your movements wisely it takes brain power to play this game it's not like that call of duty or that fortnite trash that you weirdos play where you're just blindly running out and shooting everywhere no this takes deep thinking higher level thought and you guys just don't possess that so if you're planning on buying a nintendo switch this game needs to be one of the first games you buy period and if you have a nintendo switch but you haven't played this game <laughs> this is what you are <laughs> i mean come on what's wrong with you Next up is Zelda Breath of the Wild, keeping with the theme of the Nintendo Switch. This game was absolutely amazing. I was looking forward to it for a long time. Zelda has always been one of my favorite game series, and every time a new one comes out, I just gots to play it. And this game definitely did not disappoint. Oh, but come on, young. Come on, young. I mean, like, come on. You said the game was trash, and now you're saying it's good. You're nothing but a troll, man. You're nothing but a hypocrite. Listen, simmer down, nerds. You don't have what it takes to question me. I'm better than you in every way. Every category you can think of, I'm better than you. If I want to say a game is trash one day and then say it's amazing the next, I can do that. You don't possess what it takes to understand the creative genius that goes on up top. And if we're keeping it real, you want to know the real definition of a hypocrite? Someone that claims your channel is trash. Someone you know that claims you put out nothing but horrible content left and right. They can't stand you. They call you names. But yet, every time you upload a video, they still come to your channel. Every time that you live stream, every time that you do anything, they're still worrying about what you're doing. That's a true hypocrite. And you want to know who are those hypocrites? You guys. But anyway, so this game is amazing, man. I love it. From the moment, like I said, I played it. The way it just drops you into this world. You're able to go here, do this, do that. I mean, wow. I can't remember a game that gave you this much freedom. This giant open world that allows you to do as you please. My favorite thing about this game is the freedom that it gives you. You can climb this. You can go here. I remember the first time playing this game. I didn't even do the main quest until many hours later due to just me exploring, finding new things. And the great part about it is after playing and beating this game multiple times, I still find new things. And no new playthrough ever feels the same. That's what's great about this. I love it, man. This is just an amazing event. I, I just can't get enough. Up next is Bloodborne. Ah, Bloodborne. I remember buying my PlayStation 4 back in 2015 and there being absolutely no good exclusives to play. I mean, I was bored out of my mind, but then came. I said, but then came. Can you hear me, people in the back? I said, but then came Bloodborne. To this day, one of the only reasons to own a PlayStation 4. One of the few reasons, because most of the games that were released for PlayStation 4 were complete trash. Last of Us Part 2, God of War, Horizon Zero Dawn, Spider-Man PS4. Those games are trash and for lower level individuals, not capable of higher level thought. You know, but Bloodborne is what you need. No question about it. No matter how many times I go back to it, I'm just amazed. From Software truly outdid themselves with this game. The 
lore, the fast-paced, brutal, but yet insanely rewarding combat, the creepy yet beautiful atmosphere, the bosses, the music. I mean, this game separates the truly gifted real gamers such as myself on higher levels of thinking such as myself from the casuals. This game was so good, I even platinumed it. Where are all my Bloodborne Platinum Trophy getters at? Stand up one time, flex on these casuals for me. Thank you. But yeah, they could never achieve that. These casuals couldn't get the Bloodborne Platinum Trophy. No way, no how. I mean, imagine having a PlayStation 4 and not playing Bloodborne. <laughs> that could never be me. Next game is Sekiro Shadows Die Twice from Software out here carrying this list, proving once again why they are some of the goats when it comes to game development. Sekiro feels like a game that was made specifically for me. I love swords and sword fighting, and Sekiro provides exactly that. Each battle is just an exchange of clashes until one is victorious. Each fight has this amazing rhythm to it, and this game forces you to learn how to deflect, how to parry. It has a steep learning curve, but once you master it, my god. God, do you feel like a badass? This game makes you feel like the ultimate beast when everything clicks. This is truly a game I could play over and over again and never get bored. No joke, I've at least beat it about like 50 times by now. I've done challenge runs, beating every boss without dying. I've platinumed it, proving once again how truly great I am. You casuals could never do this, but I love this game. This is definitely my favorite From Software game to date, and they just know what they're doing. From Software just puts out hit after hit. Once again, that separates the skill players such as myself from the casuals. Can't wait to see what they do with Elden Ring, but let's leave the games like this to From Software. All of you other developers trying to do what they do, creating garbage games like Neo and all these clones, let them do it. They are masters of this. Your games are trash and will never compare to the original. Next up is The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. The Witcher 3 is a game that deserves all of the praise that it gets. It's a game that only an idiot couldn't like. I'm telling you, if you do not like The Witcher 3, then you just ain't a gamer. It's straight like it. You know, it really is. The story is very good. The characters are all interesting and have depth. The combat system is very fun. A lot of people like to hate on the combat in this game, yet when you look at their trophies or you look at the game that they're playing, they're playing Fortnite. <laughs> They're playing garbage like The Last of Us Part 2. They're playing Spider-Man PS4. How dare you give your opinion on what's a good combat system and what's not? You clearly have no idea what you're doing. It's so hilarious. But yes, this game is awesome. It's filled to the brim with awesome things to do. Side quests which don't just feel like filler like in other open world games. No, some of the side quests in this game are just as good if not better than the main story segments. It's crazy. When is the last time you played an open world game that had memorable side quests? They're all just filler and trash, not here. These are great. I, I love this game. I mean, the soundtrack is beautiful. This is a game that is truly remarkable. And like I said, if you do not like it, I just cannot take you seriously in any way. And lastly, you should know what's coming. <laughs> hmm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Persona 5 Royal. The OG Persona 5 was already one of the best JRPGs ever made, but Persona 5 Royal made an already amazing game even better. Atlas proven once again why they are one of the GOATs. I mean content upon content! All the new features they added to Persona 5 Royal made this feel like an entirely new game. I mean, it was a great experience. The new story that they added, the new characters were amazing, the addition of cool features like Showtime, the grappling hook, so on and so forth. They were all great additions. I honestly didn't think it was possible to make Persona 5 any better, but they did. Oh man, if you do not like Persona 5, just like The Witcher 3, I cannot take you seriously in any way. Oh come on, it's just a weeb simulator, it's just a school simulator, the characters suck, Persona 4 is better, <laughs> You know, get out of here you clowns. People are pathetic. I swear, Persona 5, it don't get no better than this. I, I mean, I platinum both games, the original Persona 5 and Persona 5 Royal. I have put over 600 hours into the game. I mean, again, I'm the king of Persona 5. No one likes this game more than me. That's just fact. So there you have it. These are my 10 favorite games of the last few years. Not necessarily in order. These are just my 10 favorite games. So I, I don't do all that ranked stuff because that's for losers. I don't have time for that. But yes, my taste is incredible. This just proves that my taste is, is just incredible because all these games are amazing. All of these games are must play. And if you do not agree, again, you're not someone that needs to be taking up time occupying space in gaming.